Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here. And we're doing a fugitive attempt, number three. As you can see, we're past the 10 hour mark. We're heading into the 11th hour. That's right. So, we're going to pick up right where we left off. Uh, you've had nine episodes so far. We're going to be doing episode 10 right now. We're going to be heading in. I've done a little bit of changes here. Um, Move some files around in the computer and stuff like that, so hopefully everything's uh, validated and everything looks pretty good. I've also added a mod to No Man's Sky to remove the uh, the drag lines during pulsing, so we can reduce the amount of graphical uh, impact it's having on the game, especially when we're going to be streaming, uh, which I hope is going to be on Monday morning. So, looking forward to that, and uh, you know, hopefully the mod is still here. Because, I, again, I did move some files around. I guess we'll find out in a minute. Okay, so as we wait for everything to blow in here... Okay, we're back. Good, good. So let's see where we are. We are on the space station here. Um, we're going to go ahead and land and pick up my, uh, my ship. My other ship, so that way I can get moving here. I'm probably never going to see any deuterium, so the pulse drive on this is not going to be so great. Um, there is nothing more for us to do inside the station. We are pretty much done in here. We have everything we need. we got a forged passport so we can head out. I have come to the conclusion... I am very sorry, Beeble Bum. I'm sure you're going to listen to this video and say, you know, that's probably not the right way to go, but I've got to get the glyphs. There's no way around it. I've got two glyphs. Uh, someone mentioned in one of my videos that around the... Uh, it was about the 40-minute mark. I must have passed by this one... Uh, graves marker on the ground about three or four times. I just whipped right past it without even realizing it was there. So uh, I'm going to be definitely looking for glyphs. I'm going to try to find a system very similar to this that has a moon on it that I can start scouring the moon for glyphs and see what we can do about that. Um, but yeah, now that I have a forged passport again, I'm going to go to a regular, regular system and I'm going to go straight to the space station um, in my other ship because, you know, obviously I can only land at the and I'm going by the strict rules here. I can only land at the pirate stations in a solar ship. But didn't say anything about landing at those regular stations in a solar ship. So I'm going by the rules here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get out of here. And move on. Away we go. i got to lower my volume a little bit because all I can hear is the game. Good grief. Wow. Okay. That was loud. <laughs> so let's see what the pulse drive does. Let's see if I got it. Nope. Mod didn't take. Alright, so I'm going to have to check that mod out and see if I can't fix it next time I load it up. So this episode won't have it. The next episode will get rid of those pulse lines. You know what it does? I think when it moved the... Ah, you know what happened? When it moved the file over and it did a validation check, I bet you anything it turned off the mods. That's probably what it did. So, anyway. Okay. No big deal. Easily fixed. Uh, other ship. We want to... Not the Blessing. My EP Hypercruiser. There it is. The other one is another Blessing, so no big deal. And let's see. Everything on board. Okay, so who knows what happened. I have a backup rocket launcher package, so if I have to, I can uninstall this one and install that one in, in, in the heat of the moment, so... And I got another repair kit in case I need it. So let's go ahead and move on here. And let's get moving. Let's get out of the planet atmosphere. And we are going to go to the galaxy map. Galactic Core. So we want to head this direction. We're going to look for... Let me see. Should I go... Uh, pirate system wouldn't be too bad, but the problem is, is I really, really need to find myself a traveler. So let's head about 800 to 900 light years in, and we're going to find a system. It doesn't really make a difference which one. A dissident system would be kind of nice, because it would be a regular system. And I could... Pick up some extra supplies, maybe some more tech. There's a dissonant system, but I need an indium drive. 
Okay, these are within range. This is it right there. Hold on. Just had it. Right. Come on, get back there. Let's see what we got in this system here. And we got a moon. Or, you know, just one moon? No, that's a planet. Let's see. Nope, there is a moon on that, on that planet right there. That's good. So we have a moon in the system as well. Okay. All right, let's do it. More planets would be better, but that's okay. Maybe we'll have a traveler in the system and we'll be able to get ourselves an extra glyph. Let me get this microphone adjusted a little bit. Okay. I, and I want to definitely tell you all how much I appreciate your comments. Um, you guys have been leaving some fantastic comments, pointing out flaws. Feel free to do so, man. I ain't perfect, and I know I'm not. I'm going to go ahead and hit the space station immediately, because I don't feel like getting called out by station authorities like I did last time and I had to dump it so off we are here we go hopefully there's a traveler on board we have to use the passport the forged passport immediately that was weird that one traveler we ran into in the cantina in the back that was very very odd whatever you want to call it that bar I suppose. Okay. Everything's online and efficiency. There we go. Let's see what we got. I am not seeing a traveler here. That kind of stinks. Yep, ain't nobody here. It looks like a traveler to me. Let's go to the other side and we'll see what we got. Nobody over there, right? Okay. One time we found that traveler, but that was really, really strange. I don't see anybody that looks like a traveler to me, do you? Alright, well that was a wasted forged passport. A million bucks gone. But, while we're on a planet surface searching around and scouring, we're going to look for very technology. If we can get a couple stacks of them, that should make up for the amount of money we lost. Okay, we have nothing else on us that's considered... Nope, we have nothing else on us. Okay, good. Alright, so what do we got? Let's check out the planets great if this one was. Ah, it is. And it's a cold planet to boot. Okay. So before we head there, let's see what else we got around us. Uh, that looks like another cold planet. Okay. This one looks like... Could be anything, actually. Scalding has well, activated copper. That's good. And we got a little guy over there can't quite see it. It might be behind the planet. We just double check over here. I don't think there's anything else behind us. No, there's not. Okay, so we want to get to that guy over there. Well, actually should be right there. So I guess right around the edge of the planet. Let's head around the edge of the rings here. Oh, where is it? Oh, there you are. Little guy. Look at you. Come on. Looks like we gotta get closer, whether we like it or not. I like because we're too close to this planet over here on our right. It is considered a moon. Alright, so it is small enough that we can do some searching on it. Rainy moon. That isn't too bad. Alright, but let's check out this cold planet. See if we can find some good tech down there. Trying to avoid using the pulse drive for now. Save some of the juice. We're already just about in the atmosphere anyway, so. All right. All right, so this will be a little bit of a harder terrain to find things on. 
and la watch me like find a ship within a couple moments. It'll be funny. Okay, so there's one of our radiant shards. Okay. So we're going to just take a quick look around this planet. I'm going to watch my radar a little bit, make sure I'm not coming across anything that I need. I don't know if we're going to find any of the usual stuff around here. Boy, a dissident pirate system would be great if I can find another one. Yeah, blizzards. Go figure. Okay. So I'm going to stick with this for just a little bit because I want to make sure I'm not going to run across any ships along the way. We're heading due south right now. Hey, crashed freighter. You know what crashed freighters mean? They usually mean money. Sometimes we find some good stuff on freighters, you know? You know what? I think I'm going to take that opportunity. Because we need the money, because we need to buy another passport at this point. around this side. Oh, it's over there. Okay. We we'll save ourselves a parking space. Okay. Outside temperature, 146. That's not too bad. A little chilly. Head in. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right. Let's see what we can get out of this one. Some acid. Let's see. What's that worth? Hundred eighty-eight thousand. That's not too shabby. More acid. There we go. Got to watch my step here. Actually, I didn't need to do that. Get in for just a second. See what we got. So those are worth 180. Looks like we got ourselves some salvage data along with it. So what are we at? 376, 180. So that's about a half a mil. 600. That's not bad, man. So this whole endeavor might net us exactly everything we need to get ourselves into the Forge Passport. There it is. Okay, get inside the ship for another second. Uh, what do we got? 50,000. No, that's not much. That's okay. And you see the temperature's going back down again, so at least that's something. Where will we end up at? 70s, 60, 70 below. Okay. Yeah, it's a little chilly. All right. Back to first person. Let's take a look. Should be right there. Okay. If you select it first, it makes it easier to find. Multi-tool expansion slot, again. Yeah, yeah. I haven't decided whether that's really worth my time or not, keeping these. But not really. You know, you think about it, I've got about 700,000 here. That's not too bad. Alright, let's take a quick peek around and make sure there's nothing we're missing here. 
we should really look at the animal life here. See what we got. Two of six. Okay. And everything else disappeared. How interesting. Flying, flying, and two underground. Interesting. We're probably not going to be able to get those underground ones. Okay. Shall we head on? Watch everything pull in. I adjusted the graphics a little bit as well. So, things... There's not going to be any reflections. I've gotten rid of all my reflections to try to save my video card a little bit of a headache, if you will. So again, in the hopes that when we start streaming again on Monday, it will make things easier. Alright. So there's not much to see here. I think, you know, if we were to find ourselves another ship it would be you know wonderful and great wait a second what was that right there on the icon on my screen oh I know what that is that's one of those things down below okay because there was a couple of them there was this one and another one nearby so I'll see if I can't find the other one that's this. Uh, but it gave me feces this time. Nothing really to worry about. There's apparently another one nearby. Let's go up the slope here and take a look. That's just a gravitino ball. Buried tech is always a good thing to try to get my hands on, so since there's some right there, I'm going to go ahead and grab it while we're here. That's a very interesting biological entity, and it disappeared as I was looking at it. There we go. Very weird. Anyway, where is it? Uh, right there. It's not what I was trying to do. There we go. No digging required. Four of them. Good. That's nice. I could have swore, like I said when we were flying over, that I passed over another one of those uh, boxes, but I don't see it anywhere. How far away are you? If you can befriend those little creatures, you can fly them, too. Sodium patch. Brilliant. As you all know, I've been looking for that. See? Very pretty. I like those things. I will take all the sodium you have. Thank you very much. We know how often I keep getting into these stupid battles with pirates. Keep taking out my shields. Alright, good deal. Patch eliminated. Nope, can't pick that one up, huh? There we go. And what do you have for me? Hey, how about a shield for my body? I'll take nanites instead, though. Thank you. Nope, hello. There we go. Alright, I think we'll head back to the ship now and proceed, I suppose. I don't see any other 
animals or anything else nearby that interests me at this time. So... Yeah, there ain't nothing out here that's really gonna worth my time. Okay, let's head out. we go. And we'll watch our radar again. Watch the ground as carefully as we can. It'd be great to find one of those campgrounds. Although that guy could give me exactly what I need. And I do need crystallized hearts. I wonder if I have the ammunition to take care of them now. It could be tough. What do you think? I could always run away. I don't have any body shields, but my multi-tool should be enough to be able to take them. Got ammunition. I think we're ready for this. Okay. There he is over there. Got him. Just got an inverted mirror. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I want. Wrong button. Oh, crap. And he's already fully you. So I guess this isn't going to work for me. So what we got to do is got to find one of these dissident planets without in a pirate system, so that way we can attack them from the air and I can try to get some of these. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Can we... No, we can't. We have to wait. Alright. Keep going this way. Oh, get away from him. Keep your eyes open. Okay. We're safe now, and my shield should be coming back up in a moment. There it is. Yeah, that was close. Fortunately, it doesn't look like I damaged anything. Yeah, we're in good shape. Thank heavens. Hmm, how much money we got here? 468. Okay, we got enough to spend on some forged... Where's my ship? On a forged passport. Oh, yep. Yeah, stay away from that guy. Head for the ship. Okay, so that didn't work out. We need a much more powerful weapon in order to be able to do what we need to do to them. Okay. On our way. Okay, so we're heading south. Let's watch the radar. I don't know if we'll ever get those crystallized hearts, but we'd really have to have a much more powerful weapon to be able to do that. At least the music sounds pretty good. A little ominous, but it's okay. 
Hey, we got jammed again. I hate when that happens. It's a really weird gra graphical glitch that I run into every now and then. Three stars, huh? I don't want to know what that is. For me, it's probably Sack Venom. My old enemy. From my first run that I died in. And frost Crystals. Okay, so I think we can conclude that unlike that one planet where I was finding everything, this planet has nothing that I will be able to find very easily. Radiant shards, it's all very nice. We'll go ahead and land one more time, and then we're going to head off to the moon. We've got plenty of radiant shards, so I really don't think we need anything. We can hit him up, but there is a unit down here we can hit up. Okay. What do we get out of him? Rusted metal. You're not giving me anything I need. Okay. Alright, so there's a bad guy over there. Corrupted Sentinel. But we have a mirrored unit in the distance. Right there. So what are we using? And Just an inverted mirror. There we go. Alright, we're good. Alright, so we're gonna head on. Hoping we get like a, uh, something where we can find a ship or something like that, but it is what it is. We might head back later. Let's go look for our moon. Should be, I think, right here. That's it moon here we come. So we're going to scour this moon a little bit and see if we can find some more stuff. Yeah, don't feel like fighting pirates at the moment, but if we have to, we have to. It's no big deal. Alright, slow it down. Let everything fill in. And let's watch kind of carefully. So I'm going to stay in this third person view for now. kind of scour. This is actually not a bad view. We should be able to see some good stuff on this planet as we fly over. Turn from side to side on occasion. Yeah, see? Well, we, can, we can do that if we want, but you know, honestly, I don't think we really need to. wait for things to populate in as we go. This would be pretty good. Tell you what, let's give it... What time is it? 28. Let's give it... Or just time 29. About five minutes and let's see if we can find any ships. It's the tech that we're after. So after glyphs, right? I told you that before. So, get a little more tech, a little more glyphs. We may land on the planet anyway and see if we can discover all the animals. Oh, I got a funny feeling if there's caves anywhere on this system, we're going to find those. Uh, another little staging area there. We'll 
pop in and out of here on occasion just to see if we're finding anything. Hey, drop pod. Like I said, I don't think I really need anything in regards to drop pod. So I'm going to leave it alone. That is an abandoned facility. More buildings in the distance. It's like we can see everything from here. It's pretty good. And the buildings are popping in a little quicker as well. Be nice to find a crash ship we can get some technology from it, right? All right. Look at that, another freighter. This one doesn't seem to be as dangerous as a planet. Maybe we'll land at the freighter and see if we can pick up some gear. That will give us enough stuff to get by. We won't have to pick up anything else for a while. I think we should. Let's find some landing pad here. There she is. Got some caves over there too. Right? Yeah, we do. Look at that. So if there are any creatures in the caves... Should be right there. Salvage frigate module. Not bad. Let's see how many creatures we got on here. I can't see there being more than... Yeah, I was about to say six. But... Okay. Let's go ahead and head in. I'm just going to remain in first person for now. Always like to get the other door, so I'm already prepared to leave. Three latticed arc crystals. How much are those worth? Not bad, half mil. Okay, looks like we've gotten ourselves into some good money here. So at least that's something. Oh, yep, yep, pay attention. There it is. Got to hit the right button here. Just going all over the place. Okay. Got some hot ice. I always love the name of some of these things that they give us. There we go. Got a little distracted there, sorry. Okay, fortunately the rest of the planet is in pretty good shape. 320,000 for that, 130 for that. So I think we're in really good shape here, though we're running out of room fast. <laughs> we only have one more spot available to us. So, yeah. Different creatures, no? Ah, hate when they do that to me. You f finally find a creature that you could uh, pull in and they make it disappear from your radar. Alright, we have a building over that way. Let's get out of this first person view. Okay. 
That's two. Okay, I mean, I know there's only six here, but uh, I would have thought that the creatures would be a little bit easier to see. There we go. That's three. Alright, let's take a look. Ground, ground, and ground. They're already ground. All of them are on the ground. Okay, so let's find where was that place we were heading towards. There it is. Let's head that direction. Maybe we'll run across these ground-based creatures at some point or another. It's nice to have a uh, jetpack that works nicely. You're different. You're four. I think, right? That's four, so I need two more. They're both ground-based. Okay, our unknown building is one that is protected by a sentinel. So we know what kind of building that is. I'm not even going to bother heading in that direction any further. Okay. No reason to go any further. Let's head over this direction to see if there's any creatures over here. That was one. Yeah, I don't... Oh, I'm gonna hurt myself here. Great. Thought it had a better, better, better charge than that. I'm passing through the rocks. That's lovely. Alright. That's five. One more. Right? Right there. There we go. Got him. Excellent. So that should get us what we need. With a 1500 nanite bonus. Fabulous. I gotta get rid of that noise. There we go. Okay. All right. Anything else? No, I guess, we're di guess we've done all the damage we can here. Including to myself. Yep, I know. Found another uh, set of species on a planet. Okay, good deal. So that gives us a good amount of nanites here. We could pick up some good stuff. Oh, that was a solar ship that just passed over. Well, you know what? It might have been a, might have been a freighter. Okay, never mind. Let's head out. Okay, we're heading in a southerly direction. We're going to see if we can find... Crash Tech. Not looking for as many buildings as we are... Well, we don't have anything that's going to pull us over for, so we should be okay. Later to proceed, see? It's just an economy. What do you call it? A uh, beacon. Beacon is the word. And we want to look for... Graves as well. May not find any, but... It'd be great to find one. And you know what's going to happen is you're all going to see one and you're going to send it into my... Gonna tell me all about it. Hey, you passed one over here. Okay. Not seeing any ships anywhere yet. shouldn't even be too far to the sides. If I pass over one that's too, that's a little bit to the left or right, I should still see it on my radar.
I've got a funny feeling we're going to end up running into this uh, pirate if we don't not careful. Well, some tech laying down there. That's fine, but that's not exactly what I'm looking for. All right. Just give it a few more minutes. If we don't run into anything. I think we'll exit the system and head for the next pirate system. Really was hoping to find something. We need glyphs, though, and I keep reminding myself of that, that I'm really not interested in trying to find any more tech. But if we have to, we have to. Anything worth our while. Because at this point, we do need the money to buy more glyphs. This is something we can use, possibly. Although I think it'll just find us an ancient location. Let's see. It's shouting but can't be heard, and the stone above someone long ago has scrolled advice for those who would approach it. I'm gonna feed it the sodium and see what I got what I get from it. I got something good. This is it. I can't believe in me, like I said, I can't believe in being attacked. I don't think I get any technology out of it. I think I got some words and that was about it. I'd like to land again at it, but I don't know if that'll be possible. Where'd you go? There you are. And done. I think that's it. Okay, where did it go? That's it right there. So did it give me anything? No? I don't think it gave me anything. Let me land again. I got some money out of it, at least. That's something. I just see something here. No? Nothing that I can see. Let's just check, make sure. Nope. Okay. Guess not. All right. Worth a shot. And we were headed south. So we didn't get any technology out of it that time. It taught us how to speak some more words. So, that's all great and dandy, but... Doesn't really help us in the scheme of things. Alright. What do you say? I think it's time to go find a pirate system, get another forged passport, and... Well, go from there. Because there is nothing I am finding over here at all. And considering how big this planet is, I thought I figured I would have found something by now. Then, it, then again, it is a two-star system. So. Okay. Let's go ahead and clear out, shall we? I think that's... I think it's time. Here we go. Hey, this is the direction we want to go. How's my hyperdrive? Looks like it's okay. Okay. We want to get another thousand out of it, so that should be good. This is a good spot. Let's look for a pirate system. Because we need to get ourselves a forged passport. Searching. Searcheru. There's one. Only two planets. But we got a moon. Hmm. Is that really necessary for me? I really don't think so. Just need to be able to land. That's about it. Alright, let's head there. Okay, we'll land at a planet. 
switch over to my solar ship and then we're going to head back up. First things first, how are you? Just make sure we know what kind of planet we're about to land on. Blighted, huh? Activated copper, that means bad storms. Uh, there should be one more planet. There it is, and moon someplace, I think. Dusty, okay, that would probably be a better place to land. Was there one more for the swore? Oh yeah, there is. Right there. That must be the moon. What are you? Airless. Yeah, looks like we're going to be fighting somebody soon. Alright, we don't have a choice. We're going to end up fighting these guys. Let's see how many we got. Hopefully it's just the one, but I got a funny feeling to be more than one. Looks like we got two. At least it's not like five. Watch the shields. That guy literally ran into me. Or maybe I ran into him. Hmm? Don't forget, you have rockets. Something I can't launch this close to him. Should be okay. Unless this guy's got some nasty weapons on him. Yep, we're about to lose our shields. Okay, we're gonna have to finish him with guns to keep close. Close. So that was an airless moon, but it had uh, sentinels on board. What about you? That's, that's the same place. Yeah, I got it. Did you stop? Oh my gosh. Seriously? Yeah, yeah, aggressive sentinels. That's the wrong place. We want to go the other way. You'll do. A little far away, but... It'll do for what we're interested in taking care of here. Alright, shield is building. Let's go ahead and start charging things up. We need to charge you up. We're going to use one of you. I'm going to charge... That's our pulse drive. I'm going to go ahead and use some tritium, because I just want to use that up. Shield is almost where we need it. Okay, good deal. Alright. Nothing got damaged this time. I guess we survived our encounter. Okay, we got a starship battery out of it, but that's about it. Oh, it's one of these planets. My favorites. As you all know. The planets I love the most. Let's go over here and see if we can find a landing spot on a peak or something someplace. There, this looks alright. That looks okay right there. Okay. We need to pull you out. Okay. Now, is there anything on this ship I need? Let's check. Uh, let's see. Let's put you down here with the rest of the mirrors. Let's get you at least reorganized a little bit. And put you over there. Okay. Get some of that. Not really. I think we're okay. Everything we need to sell is on me, so... Yeah, I guess we're okay. Uh. Off we go. 
Got to charge our launch thrusters on here. Uh, that way. Doesn't look like we're aimed up properly. Isn't that amazing? Now it looks like we are. All right. Launch thrusters could use some uranium. Looks like we're getting a little low. We're gonna have to be careful. Have to make some launch units. There we go. And until we can get some deuterium and another solar mirror, we can't repair you. Okay. Well, hopefully we don't get attacked out here because this is the wussiest ship I could possibly have right now. we remembered, right? Yeah, I think we went too far. I don't know. Full ascent. No, we were right the first time. Okay. Second guessed myself. Let's get ourselves a forged passport, sell some of this stuff on us, and... Yeah, that's good that he's dangerous. It's okay, we're not going to see him anyway. We'll be heading out of here soon to begin with. Alright, so let's start over here and sell some of this stuff off of us. Because we need to free up some inventory space anyway. Uh, let's get rid of the acid, salvage data, and the hot ice. And we've already gotten to the point where we're almost back where we were. Uh, heat capacitor. Stable gels. Latticed poly multi tool expansions, and I think that cleared us up. And we're at 7.3 million. So, hey, we did pretty good there. And he does not carry any forged passports, so that's okay. Anybody land yet? No, nobody has landed yet. There, there's someone landing right now. Let's see if we can get a forged passport from them. Oh, nice. Got ourselves a solar ship. Ouch. Smack me in the head. What do you got, mighty pirate? Offer to trade. Forge passport. There you are. 914. Not too bad. Okay. Thank you. It's a nice looking little solar ship he has over there. Uh, let's hit you up and see what you got for us. But I'm curious. Really? Oh, that's a fantastic uh, achievement, I guess. I literally didn't give me the achievement. <laughs> that's hilarious. All right, so pulse spitter, infra knife, hyperdrive. That's what we're looking for. Uh, mining beam, launch thrusters. Hmm. Launch thrusters might be worth it. See if we can save a little on that. Photon cannon. I wonder if that would work with the cannons on board my ship. My other ship, that is. Interesting. We got pulse engine module. Starship shield. Let's get the shield. And let's go ahead and get this anyway. I'm curious. Uh, pulse engine is kind of touchy. I don't know. Maybe not. Okay. All right, we're good. Um, since it's right here, let's see how much it costs me to upgrade my exosuit. Uh, let's see, 83,000 down there, 124 up here. Let's go up here with it. Who knows, maybe it'll be another expand, a special slot. It doesn't look like it. Okay, but that's okay. We're doing all right. There's our forged passport, so I guess we're in good shape. Let's go ahead and get out of here. We're going to go land, switch ships, and head on to another system. See if we can find ourselves a traveler and a glyph. I don't know how long it's going to take us to get the glyph, because we're already in the 11th hour, but it is what it is. I know. It's a activated copper system, which means nasty, nasty storms. 
looks like we have ground there. Islands and rocks. Fascinating. That's okay. We found a rock right there, which will suit our purposes very nicely. Thank you very much. Anything on board our ship? No. Nothing worth writing home to mother about. Falling fast. Look at that, huh? Yeah, no kidding. Okay, we're done. So let's go ahead and do some of this. Photon cannon. Let's see if it actually has an effect on it. It does. Let's do this. Hold on a second. I want to check something here. Uh, damage potential 271. It says it's giving it something, but it's just heat dispersion, so it just means it lasts longer. Hey, it's something. I'll take it. We'll find something better later. Okay, shield. Okay, let's see what we get out of it. 15%. 23, 9, and 30. Get rid of the 9, which will give us more stuff. So, that's good. Let's put you guys down here. Hmm. Didn't know I had that in on there. But I'll keep it there. That's okay. Alright. What else we got? Launch thrusters. Wow. Okay, that's actually not bad. Okay, good. That's really good. Plus, it'll help my maneuverability. And what do we get as far as this is concerned? 93 light years. 51... 75. Let's get rid of the 51. And that gets us up to 1057. Excellent. Let me just see something here. Nope. It's better up there. Go figure. Okay. 255, 256. Okay. Just checking. All right. Looks like we're in good shape. I am going to move you over here. Okay think that's everything, is it not? Yes, it is. Okay. Well, looks like we got plenty of this stuff floating around, so that's good. Uh, pure ferrite. You know what? Goodbye. I'm just going to leave you alone. Alright, I think we're in good shape. Heading off to the next system. That's okay. We'll be gone before you can even think about it. Alright, so we're heading towards Galactic Core. We're going to get to a system of lots of planets is what we're looking for. Alright, looks like we're getting into the range of where we want to. And I'm looking for a three-star system this time on the economy scale. Because I think it will... There we go. Lots of planets? Nope. At a jump range. Pull back. I want a higher economy system. I just think that the chances of me finding the right crash ship will be better if I'm in a better economy. Uh, only three planets. I'd really like to try and find that something with at least four. Two, two, three. And... Uh, is it Q and E, right? Yes. Now this has three, but we got a moon as well. You know, I'm going to give it a shot. Don't have a combat scanner on me, so I don't know what whether it'll be a bad system or not for pirates or not, but we'll see what happens. Just about at the hour mark here. Okay. So first things first, let's head for the space station with our forged passport. You know, I really would have thought we would have warped more than that. All right. And let's hope there is an actual traveler on board the station. That would be really nice. Okay. 
84% again? Yes. Forged passport. Okay. All right, who do we got? Looks like we have ourselves a traveler. Uh, let's see. You see, he only asks about the voice of freedom, and it happens every time now. Well, I wonder if it's because of that being in here still. So, the only thing I can say is that... Yeah, that's great. I, I'm very happy you gave me a Shroud of Freedom. Can you give us something else? That's what happened last time. That's what happened last time. So that's what's been going on the whole time, is I had to get to that next stage so he could give me that stupid Shroud. Now I can get what I need from them. Unbelievable. Alright, so 250 nanites. I'm going to have to remember that because we're going to have to build up some more. Okay, so we'll get what we need here. How many nanites do we have left? We've got plenty. We can get this uh, at least a few more times, right? Alright, here we go. Off we go. Where is it at? It's going to be over this way. Hopefully it's not on an aggressive sentinel planet. Scan it. It's on the moon, which is even better. It's nuclear. We need, do we do, you know, uranium is here. We do, definitely do need more of that. So let's go ahead and grab some more while we're here. So we'll get ourselves a grave and then we'll scour the planet for a little bit. Oh, I'd love to land there, but that would be pushing it a little far. Oi. Stop and hover and land. And there we go. This will be our third. Third glyph. Okay, so we've got a glyph, folks. Excellent. And that's what we're going to try to do more and more of. Let's... Okay. We want to get all these creatures. Ooh, you're a big guy. As long as you're not a meat eater. Nope. He processes dirt. Usually a good hint behind the fact that he won't be attacking me. That's another one. How many do we have? Nine? Okay, what do we get? Four now? Is that five? That's five of the nine. Six of the nine. Anything else? We have undergrounds here, so... Usually means creature from undergrounds as well. Let's take a look. We've got two ground and one underground. I mean, we could we could use some more batteries and stuff, so I guess we should actually do something along those lines. Found another creature over there. Oh, hi there. He may be a meat eater. Cautious and radioactive meat, but he doesn't appear to be attacking me. So that's a good thing. Huh. So that's eight. So what's left? I think the one that's underground, right? Underground, yes. Huh. So look at towards the caves and... Make sure there's nothing under there. We're going to be heading for the caves here in just a second. So... Let's head in just a little bit. Excellent. I guess I should check it, make sure there's not a secondary metal there. Silver, eh, it's not really worth my time, but that's okay. Let's gather enough just so we can make a few extra batteries and we'll head out of here. Love this laser, I really, really do. Okay, how many did we get end up with? Oh, I forgot we had that. What did he give us? Hazmat gauntlets. How handy. 
Um, I just realized that. I am so sorry. What a terrible pun. <laughs> it was just absolutely awful. Uh, I can make 13 batteries, so let's go ahead and make them real quick. There we go. Okay, we're done. Okay, give us 29 batteries now, so that's going to be good. We'll fully charge back up. Let's take a quick peek around, make sure there's nothing else around me. Uh, we got an unknown building in that direction. Let's check around a little bit. Maybe there'll be another, uh, another, uh, you know, glyph someplace on the planet. That would be kind of nice. So let's take a peek. Uh, let's head in that direction. And we're going to look for anything that's underground as well. That's interesting. That's just a trade ball, as I like to call them. Ah. Guess what this is. This is a very nice feature. Oh, we need some uranium, we said, didn't we? How's our launch thrusters look? 66? Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. In the past, I cannot remember. Every inch of my soul wants to make the leap back. I look to the skies and the infinity beyond. Can I truly abandon my journey when it's only just begun? Resist temptation. I can't remember these sensations before turning away. The spirits that dwell here admire my decision. I am rewarded. With a word and a Corvax casing. Okay, well, that's great. I will hold on to the Corvax casing, my friend, because we may need that yet. We shall see. But thank you, sir. Okay. It's hoping for some technology, but it's okay. Off we go. There's another building. One of those planets that you can literally see everywhere on. Very flat. For the most part, it is. See? I mean, you can see buildings for miles. This is great. That's another trade ball. And I'm thinking with the higher economy, look at that, a beacon right there. Uh, what's that over there? Okay, when that happens. Oh, uh, looks like we can shut down all the sentinels on the planet as well. Unbelievable. Let's do it. Shut them down. Let's check out the tool. Uh, what have they got in here? It has a scatter blaster. That, my friends, is definitely worth my time. That is definitely worth my time. Can we get this? We can take it. Let's take it. Um, and we may put it over here in this tool and see if we can do some upgrades later on because a scatter blaster could be worth, definitely worth the time. Excellent. Three lock off. Okay, good. So guess what else we can do? Well, we just got the new tool. Let's go ahead and... Well, you know what? I want to check it out. Boltcaster, Scatter Blaster. Let's recharge. Reload that. Which takes a long time to reload. Good. We got salvaged glass out of that. Nanites. And some Pugnium. Excellent. Grab this canister. And we want to see if we can find that one last uh, creature in a cave. If we can. There should be one more, I would think, around here someplace. Where is it? Combat supplies right there. It's 
See what this guy gives us. Some more nanites. Okay. Should be right there. Can we take that? Are we close enough? No? Okay. Let's back up a little bit. We're going to have to change out the weapons. Hold on. Uh, I want to go back to him. Okay, there we go. There's our creature that we were missing. Fantastic. That's all of them. Boy, this couldn't have ended up any better, could it have? Alright. So we got ourselves 200,000 units there. 28,000 for that guy. We got some more Pugnium. We got two of those, which I don't know what it just gave me because it didn't show up here. It must be in the starship. Well, I guess it gave us an antimatter. And some nanites, it looks like. Okay. Alright, well, that's okay. Didn't get any upgrades, but that's alright. Um, not bad, if I may say so myself. So, let's put this over the starship. That shouldn't fill that up. We're going to be selling that off. Okay, good. We do need to trade, change out our... We can't do it yet. Okay. So let's go ahead and get our nanites. 2,250. Nice, we're back at 5,000. Fantastic. Fantastic. All right. We wanted to get some uranium, right? So we will do that. I know there looks like there's some there, but we're going to move on. Yep, I know, I know. Uh, I don't even know which way we're going at this point. We were heading north. Looks like we have a ship right there, but I don't think it's a crashed one. That's probably one that's flying. No. It is crashed. Do we have a pilot? We do not have a pilot. We have a crashed ship. Holy mackerel, what a, what a fortuitous turn of events. Let's see how bad it is out there. Should tell me in a minute. Yeah, it's going down quick, but let's get past this. Uh, functioning technology. Another hazmat gauntlet, which we've already got. Alright, well, that's okay. That's okay. It taught me how to create something I already have, which is, you know, it, you know, whatever. I guess it'll be all right. Uh, let's grab one of these. Crank you back up. Okay, we're in good shape, I suppose. How's the starship look? Launch thrusters are at 69%, which only take pugnium, which I have plenty of pugnium, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, crimson core. All right, good. I need... Okay, well, that's good. Let's get it back down here. Hold on a second. I'll take a look. We're going to grab some uranium while we're here, like we said, for our other ship. So I think about an hour and a half looks like it's going to be about the going time now. All right. Let's see. Copper. Uranium 165. That'll work. Right over there. Let's grab a few hundred of it. I don't know how much we're going to get out of this little deposit here, but... Even a couple hundred of it will be nice. Alright. Good deal. I can tell you this. I don't think I'm going to be hitting that uh, 
breaking the 16 hour record here. I'm pretty sure this is going to take me a lot longer. Just achieving it at this point is going to be my goal. And surviving this. What a challenge, honestly. What a challenge. It's been a great run, and I am really, really have enjoyed it. Even if I die at this point, I think I'd be pleased with my progress that I made. Alright, I think we got it. Enough. Oh yeah, yeah, we're good. That's good. Put you over there. Back over here. Okay. While we're here. Just some nanites. Okay. No. Oh, yep, that's going to let me do it. Okay. Got four of them that time. That's good. There we go. Excuse you. Bark at me like that. Uh, let's take a look at the ship and see what's on it. While we're here. It's a C-Class. It literally has nothing I can use except for that. And, uh, I mean, the most I could do with that is I could, you know, dislodge it. And that's about it. I, you know, I don't need to clutter it up. No, it's not really worth my time. Um, what about the buckets that are nearby? Let's take some stuff. We can always use the... Because sooner or later we're going to need to get ourselves into a uh, portal, which means we're going to need supplies. Nothing? Got sodium nitrate. Okay, good. Did I already take stuff from that? I don't know if I did. I did not. Or nanites. And we never took the... technology. Alright, there we go. Back to our ship. In we go. Got four more of it, too. That's cool. Alright, that looks pretty good. Uh, let's put this... Let's leave this on me. Is what I'm gonna do. Because um, I need to put that in my other ship. At some point. We're gonna put this into my starship as well. Alright, that looks good. We got the Viking Dagger. We're gonna put that in our ship, too. All right, so what we don't have is we don't have a forged passport, so that's going to be our next thing, is we're going to go to a pirate system after this. Um, a few more minutes left, folks. Let's go ahead and just cruise along here and just see if we can find anything else. Get a little ways away. Let the scenery build in. So that was very, very fortuitous that we found the ship. Uh, didn't get the technology I wanted, but, you know, technology is technology. So it it's progressed me along that stage. So if we find more technology, that'll be great. Guess what we just found? We found another glyph. Son of a gun. Maybe we're going to stay here. Unbelievable. That's four glyphs. We found two glyphs on the same planet. What do we get? Personal refiner. Holy mackerel. Oh, that is freaking awesome. That is freaking awesome, dude. Yeah, buddy. Fully charged. Now we don't need you anymore. Goodbye. All right. That was an awesome thing to get my hands on. Whew. You wish you could save at this point? Is that...? Be darned. Blowing minerals. I'll take them. How's my charge doing? 28? Because this just might get me everything I need to get my next couple of, uh... Forged passports. I think we're gonna stay on the planet here for a little longer trying to decide if I'm going to do anything off-camera at this point. I'm 
just because this is such a fantastic planet. I've already got four glyphs now. I need four more, and I can make my way to the center. I just need to find myself a portal. Yeah, these are a lot of glowing minerals here. Really? Okay. Not anymore. Let's see what we get out of that. We've got 13 of these. Okay. 50. 100, 125, 150. That's not really worth much. Two hundred and twenty five. Wow, okay. Almost four hundred. Not bad. That's like nine hundred thousand between all of this here. So, okay, no, we're in good shape. That just made up for, you know, getting ourselves a forged passport. All right, great. Wow, okay, I'm glad I was paying close attention to the ground there, huh? Holy moly. And here I was just looking for crashed ships. I didn't think there'd be a second glyph on the planet, which means that there could be a third and fourth glyph at this point. Good thing I checked. Wow. I know, you're all saying, you lucky son of a gun. Yeah, you darn right I am. So, yeah, I think we're going to stick around for just a little bit longer. And I kind of regret not having seen that one... Grave a couple planets or systems ago that you all noted, at, at least one of you all noted in the video that I, I made. Yeah, that's a shame, huh? Alright. You do have to make a determination sooner or later to say, okay, that's enough. Let me go ahead and get going. I thought I saw something. I'm sorry. think oh, that's probably what it was. It was probably just a grot barrier or something like that. I think it's going to be time to leave soon. so focused while you're trying to do stuff here that you don't realize you've been so quiet for so long and that, hey, you're supposed to be keeping up a steady babbling stream of incoherent baloney. And I'm trying to look at the top radar at the same time as looking at the bottom radar and it's just my eyes that, whoop, I just saw another one. Are you kidding? No. 
do a 360. Hold on. I'm pretty sure it wasn't that. I mean, I saw that, don't get me wrong, but I could have swore I saw another gravestone. All right, let's plant. Maybe it just was that. Okay, mutant plant. Maybe that's what I saw. Maybe it was a mutant plant. Radiation protection I thought I saw another another glyph possibility, but it might have just been the mutant plant. That may be all it was. Okay, just go a little further, take another look, because it would be too much to pass up. Knowledge stones, yeah, that's what I meant. While we're here, so it's not completely fruitless. Okay. Lots of buried technology right around me, but... Okay. Well... It's worth looking at. That might have been all it was. Maybe it was just a mute plant. That would have been crazy. Radiation protection for yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a minute and a half. Be quiet. Okay. Yep. It must not have been. It must have been my imagination. All right, here we go. Back in the saddle again. That would have been hilarious. Three glyphs in five minutes. See, yeah, that's what it was. I was picking up knowledge stones. And they were at the corner of the radar, which made them look like glyphs. See what I mean? Let's look at it again. Nope, nothing there. Oh, our cat has decided to join me. As long as he doesn't jump on the computer, I think we're okay. He's still recovering from that injury. He actually has recovered mostly from it. Yes, hello, Ollie. Thank you for joining me up on top of my table and whipping your tail in my face. Love you. You're a good cat. Good mouser. The chipmunks are coming back and you can't go outside yet. I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? Come on. Go. There we go. All right. Boy, it was... It's, it's like I really didn't want to leave the planet because of the fact that it was I was getting so fortunate at finding things here. You don't want to leave. And then you wonder to yourself, hey, you know, I can stay in the system for a little while. And I can look for this kind of stuff. So I think the key to this is that I need to find myself... I'm doing a 180 real quick. 360? I'm doing a 360 real quick. Um... Three-star economy systems seem to yield better results at finding yourself a traveler. And if you can find one with a moon, all the more so better. And another building. Yep. 
Just a little campground. Just checking one last time. But I think this is where we're going to end it, folks. We're exactly an hour and a half right now. So why don't we go ahead and call it here. And I'll pick you guys up in the next episode. Got a cat that wants my attention anyway. <laughs> so let's go ahead and land, shall we? Pick up a couple extra items while we're here. All right. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you in the next episode. Hit that like and subscribe. Thanks a lot, folks. Take care.